Hello. Right, I've been doing this stove project this weekend and I've had a few problems with the footage. So I'm having to redo this intro for what it is and I'm going to try and glue some of it back together to try and keep some continuity there. But the sun might go away, it might come back and I might grow stubble and it might go away. So I'm just giving you a heads up on that. So to begin with I was faffing about trying to decide where to put this new stove where they put it in the front. I, I, I like the idea of it going in the back but after having stripped all the headlining out this cabling in there and it's going to be running really close to me uh, battery and a load of electrics and that so I thought I'd do exactly the same as what I've seen so many other people do and stick it near the door. Uh, so let's have a look at a few of the bits and uh, we'll take it from there. There's the stove got that from a guy in Grantham top hat uh, that came from a camping company and uh, me flu thing is a piece of three inch exhaust obviously got all my measurements weighed up before I ordered it um, <coughs> this is a bit of a stand that I've made uh, to keep it up off the ground I'm going to paint that or I'll stain that in a minute I managed to scrounge a piece of aluminium on top of that from my dad to shield some of the heat and that and a bit wet now but the other thing is is I took the roof lining out um, it's a bit of a faff getting this whole centre and everything but I think I've got there in the end but I've had to make that hole quite a bit bigger than everything than the exhaust and, and everything else because the order in which you do things you've got to this has got to go back in first and everything's got to go together and then you've got to then I've got to put the, the flew in afterwards and be able to get the bolts in so I might have to make up some sort of shroud for that. Uh, so that's about that. Let's get some of it together. Right, I've got it in. Um, I've had to concentrate on what I'm doing instead of messing about with the camera while I'm doing it. Because there's lots of stuff that you have to line up and it's just awkward. So <clears throat> I've got it, I've got it in. I've basically mounted the sort of bottom stand, whatever you want to call it, there to the floor. Uh, it's got a little air gap underneath there. Aluminium top there so that I can sweep it off fairly easily. And uh, I've bolted the stove to that. Now I'm going to need some longer bolts than I've used there because I need to put some bigger washing on the back of them uh, because it's pulling against the timber. So we're in. Uh, the next thing, I just need to watch that sun a bit. The next thing is I've just got to put the cap on the top there to seal it in the roof. There's quite a lot of faffing about um, getting these holes lined up, you know, the uh, inner and outer sort of thing, but I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So let's get that cap on. It's been a long day, but I finally got it in. Now, there's lots of bits that I've missed out on this video because like I said before, I was just too busy doing what I was doing. So I don't want to pretend that it was easier than it wasn't because it's been quite challenging to say the least. Stuff not lining up and, and jiggling stuff about and taking it out, putting it back in because it's quite a heavy, well, it's an heavy awkward lump to lift about. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it now. And uh, now it's a moment of truth. Just a quick note, I've got plenty of water on hand just in case.
So that's the first burn successful. Everything went really well. It got really hot in here. It wasn't the ideal day to try it because it was it was reasonably mild outside anyway. I could do with getting a real frost and seeing what it's like, but I'm sure it'll be fine. The silver stuff that I put on the back of the seat worked out really well. I didn't really need it. It's uh, It stayed quite cold to the touch. So the only thing I might do is make a little aluminium shield that fits into the back of the headrest thing and just, just protects the top of the seat there. The only thing that I am going to need to do is put something at the top of the uh, flue pipe there because where it goes through that got the, the wood part got really hot almost too hot to touch so I'm, I'm going to need to put some sort of reflective stuff on there I think so apart from those couple of bits I'm about finished um, video was a bit fractured and broken up but uh, like I said I had a bit of problem with some of the footage so thanks for bearing with me and thanks for watching we'll see you next time Thank you.